Hello and welcome to how to build a good atmospheric miner. First thing is a little checklist. A good atmospheric miner will need good upthrust, good reverse thrust, and for everything to be behind the drills so that you can tunnel in like a worm. Now I'm just gonna very quickly throw one together here to give you a little example. I typically when building go with a large cargo container and I normally have it so that the uh, large cargo ports go along the middle. Uh, depending on your block inventory size, I normally go for two. Unless you've got your block inventory size on massive, then one will be all you can really afford. Because you'll need so much up thrust to keep it up otherwise. Just very simply, I'm going to put the two on each side. Two... In this case, isn't very much, but I think that should probably do. Now, you want some big reverse thrust, but remember, you've also got to have drills here. So, if you have six blocks behind a large atmospheric thruster for small grid, it won't burn the block in front of it. It is always valid to put your thrusters at the back here, like this. That way, you don't have to have a big gap at the front, and you can cover the front in drills. So you can tunnel in like a worm. Now, two might be a bit overkill on the reverse, but if we've got four up thrust, I think it should even out quite well. Because you want to be able to dig down on a planet, so you're going to need quite a bit of reverse thrust. Slap on some pretty basic sideways thrust. Uh, that's not going to be very much, but we'll fly it and see how it feels in a minute. The great thing about miners is you don't cover them in armor, so they're really easy to edit as and when you need. More thrust or less thrust. Now that's going to be really quite a small amount of forward thrust. I like to have my connectors on the bottom. Do it as you like, but if you have your connectors on the bottom, you leave this big space on the back for a large atmospheric thruster pointing forwards. So you've got two reverse, one forwards is alright, and then... Well, I typically like to do something like this, and then that. Did I get that right? I may have messed that up. Let's see. Nope. Fits perfectly. That's just from experience, though. Just to make sure it gets held on there quite well. Having armor going all the way along on both sides. Should do that. Should probably do one on the top as well. A eh, bit of a shorter one on the top. Could do one on the bottom, but to be honest, I'm quite lazy. Now, I'll put my connector on the bottom. If there's room for it, and it will let me. Oh, it will. Perfect. Right, now, one thing I literally always forget when building a ship is gyroscopes. I always end up doing them last because I forget. Hide them in here. That should be fine, because, let's be honest, if you lose your cargo container, you've got bigger problems than not having gyro power. <laughs> like, for instance, you know, all of the forwards and backwards thrust. But, mm, yeah, it is probably worth bracing these two, so that your thrust is linked together. And then you can even come around here and... Link the back thruster. So you won't have reverse thrust, but you'll have forwards thrust and sideways thrust. You can angle it in such a way that it won't actually you won't be able to angle it because you won't have the up thrust. Oh this is already putting way too much effort into what I said would be a very simple design. And it will be. You know what? Because we're in creative at the minute, I can mirror it so I don't have to put as much effort in because I am Again, very lazy. That's that's not what. <laughs> it's it's fine. It's exactly what I intended to do there, and you can't prove otherwise. I'll do a flat one and then one like that. So all of your thrust is now linked. You won't be able to turn because your gyroscopes will have gone. Ugh, fine. I suppose I should move them too. More redundant than I ever make a miner. I usually just throw them together incredibly quickly and then 
wait for somebody else who's playing with me to crash them, because that's what usually happens. Anyway. Oh, I forgot to mention you probably shouldn't cover up these side panels. But I did it anyway, so I will go ahead and pipe it up to the bottom there, because I did leave space, because I have a connector. Which is fine and lovely. If you're on an oxygen-rich planet like I am, you won't need an O2H2 or an oxygen tank or anything like that, but... If you do need that sort of thing, I mean on this one you can fit an oxygen tank vertically here, and it won't be poking out too far, and it won't get burnt because the atmospheric thrusters only do a one by one and it's directly down the middle, that's fine. Also realizing that I have missed batteries, there's one battery there, that will not be enough. Oh no, I left space for it, I'm a genius. This was all planned. Like that. And now they're braced through the battery as well. So we will shove a cockpit on here. Depends how nice you want it to look to how which cockpit you put on it. I think most people like this sort of cockpit. Doesn't need to be hooked up in any way if you're on a planet with atmosphere. Although I've just put an oxygen tank on it so I guess I should probably hook this up. Uh, where's the conveyor ports on this? One on the bottom? Not one on the bottom, but I guess I can place it a bit higher. Yeah, like that, and then like I'm blind. There it is. Then I don't really want to poke this out any higher though. Ah, no, actually, this is fine. I can link this round in a way that doesn't look too stupid. Up one, and then like so, and then down an extra one, and then another T-junction. Actually, that will have to be a T-junction as well. I'm making this miner a lot bigger than I normally would. This isn't this isn't how this normally goes for me. But hey, we're doing it on the fly. Some would say I should plan better, but you know, it's it's all working out at the minute. That and like that. It's gonna be kinda tight on that side, isn't it? Eh, screw it. Let's slap another one on, why not? I can always guarantee that a good miner won't look good. If you want a miner to look good, then it just won't work very well as a miner. Normally, unless you put a lot more effort into it than I do. But, typically, you just want your miner to mine, so it's fair enough to not put very much effort into it. This is a very over-engineered miner. Your first miner, if you're on a survival world, will just be very bare bones anyway, because you won't have the resources to over-engineer it like this. But, did I leave space? Oh, I did. It's like I planned it, but I didn't, so it's even better. Uh, and then we'll come down here and pipe these up. I might have accidentally made quite a good miner here. I don't like using conveyor junctions, but in this case, I have to. And that. And then, like that, but we have battery power so this shouldn't fall when I do this. Hey, That looks really flimsy now that I've done that. <laughs> um, oh, I can't see crap with that dust kicking in my face. Right, so that's all piped up. That does look quite flimsy. Mm. Eh. I mean, it's it's quite important, but... Uh, not much I can do about that. It's connected in two points on here though, so it should hopefully be fine. And it is right behind a drill, so you're, when you're smacking down on things, it shouldn't get hit. Especially because the connector's there as well. It's fine. I take back what I said about this probably being a good miner now, but you know. If we look at this. What you want to do is you want to check that you can do fully up and fully reverse because those are your biggest directions at the same time without going 100%. Oh, 
Well, I do go at 100%, which isn't exactly what you want to see here. Okay, most directions, but you want to be able to go... How much does up use? 70? 73? You don't want to be maxing out when you're moving and going up, otherwise when you're flying back, you will just plummet out of the sky, because you'll be using a lot more up thrust. I am going to see if I can fit a few more batteries on here. Oh, actually, I can fit another battery right here. Doesn't even too badly obstruct the view from the seat. There we go. So, this is your perfect little miner. I say perfect. It doesn't burn things, I don't think. You've always got to be careful when you're mining. Never press space when you're down in a hole because you have a lot more up thrust than you think you do, so you will just slam into the roof. Always try and go an angle up rather than in space. It never ends well. But we will just give this a little test. Now let's give it a little test on some stone, shall we? So I'll upload this to the workshop as well, because I can do that, and it's not too big of a hassle if this works out properly. Uh, actually, obviously, you would also want to bind things up, like... Now, I don't typically put landing gear on my miners, because they're always going to mine something and then dock back to the base. Anyway, let's see. Oh, it's not doing too badly. <laughs> I, am, I am trying to see how it will go in, so if I gyro lock it, then hopefully it will go a lot straighter into its own hole. Uh, you see we might want another one in the middle at the top there. No, actually it seems to be doing alright. Because this is left click mining. So, if it's fine here it'll be fine. No matter what, so that's pretty good. It doesn't have a lot of power at the minute because these batteries aren't charged. I'm using creative tools but this is a survival world so those batteries don't start fully charged. How are we doing stone-wise? Are we full? We are full! That's that's quite a lot of stone. Not particularly fast on gyros, but you don't really want it to be. But hey, yeah, it's... It go up. It's a bit sluggish on the going up, so you will have to be careful when bringing it into land and stuff, but... It's not maxing out on power, and that's what usually makes people crash. When they're trying to slow down incredibly and they max out on power so the upthrust can't get enough and then they just plummet. Oh, I've seen that happen way too many times. But always remember you do have quite a lot of upthrust so you can just sort of helicopter it. Ooh. Okay. Quite full. Not actually slowing down enough here. Uh. Okay, a bit of a nudge. So once it's fully loaded, <laughs> you might want to be careful when descending, but I will put this on the workshop. But it can actually successfully carry all of that load, and that was 10, 10, 10, 20, uh, uh, what, maybe like 300k stone? That is pretty good. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. I will see you in the next one.